on the show? Like, no, I'm just sitting here. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well today. And today is Fun Friday. I had some ideas because the kids were in the family were doing puzzles. I'm like, oh, I said, I said, I know a game I can convert into something we can do in Agile. And in fact, the game I'm going to post, if you sign up for the newsletter, I all I keep saying I'm going to do free stuff and send some stuff. Though this weekend, I will set up a way for people who sign up for the newsletter to get free stuff. I owe a couple things. I owe the clue game. And now I'm going to do this game. We're going to set up a little virtual version. Um, you can do it on the spreadsheet. I'm going to tell you what you can do. So you don't have to wait for me. Or you can go to the store and buy this Miles Boring game. And you convert it into a game that you can play. I guess you kind of need this for in person maybe. Or you can make your own cards. Um, but the Miles Mile born Borns game. It's a car. It's a speed game. It's a speed bump game. And we're also going to do Fortune Cookie Friday. I got a chocolate version. So Bubbles is going to be disappointed because she can't have the chocolate cookie. I know she wants it. That's why she's here. But we're going to go with this little fun thing today. I think it'll be a good little example. And we'll go into it in detail today. Part of the fun thing. So it's the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master Scrum Master. And as your coach and Bubbles is just staring at me. Hi, Bubbles. Um, and here we talk about Scrum and Agile in a very practical and tactical way. So you can bring value to your customer. Not work as hard as you need to do. You know, not crazy hours. And have a little fun along the way. Today, we're going to do a little fun. So, it's the mild boring game. If you want to see. And I hopefully... They won't hack me for any kind of issues. Um, but in there, there's some cards. But let's see if I get some cards out. Here's how it works. So in there, there's some card games like Speed Limit. Uh, end of Speed Limit. So you get out of jail free card kind of thing. You get some points. It's a great game. To be honest with you, I love this game. I showed this to my kids. They got addicted to it for a while. And it comes and goes. It's a nice game to go through. You got a speed limit, and I'm gonna talk about speed limit card. So I'm gonna have this. Leave this here. Um, they got spare tires, so you can get flat tires in here. You can get a super card, um, fire engine. Always love the fire engine card just because it's fun. I just love this game. There's a stop card. Talk about that a little bit. Oop, and out. Let's we'll use the out of gas card. Okay, so there's that. Um, and that's just looking at the game says you can play with uh, up to six people. I don't see why you can't play with more than six people. To be honest with you, it depends how you do it. Maybe you get two decks of cards and double it if you want. If you have a bigger group of uh, people, so you can go up to 12 people. Um, you can do probably eight people with one deck of card. Might, you might not get as many points, but the idea is that in the game, you get a lot of points. So now we're going to convert this into a sprint. Okay, <laughs> you got to bear with me on this. So just like your velocity. So you're going to pick a velocity, let's say a thousand, right? If that is kind of high, right? Who does a thousand in the sprint? Eh, it's just a number. So it's a thousand points in the sprint. Okay. Now, as you play and the way you set it up and the way you can do it, you do it in, you can do it in Excel. You can do it on Miro, probably Miro. Um, and you make a bunch of cards. So there's going to be a lot of work setting this up. So you can do it yourself. You can sign up for the newsletter and get this all pre-made for you. So let's say you get a 50-point card. Okay. The goal is to get up to 1,000. First person to get to 1,000 wins, right? So you lay the 50, 50 points down. So on that, and then you go through. Everyone gets a chance. They're all trying to. Sometimes there's a 200-point card, right? And that helps you get to a thousand quicker. So envision this as a big feature or a really valuable story that your team gets done, or you got done a real valuable story and it's worth 200 points, right? So that story is worth 200 points. Problem is what goes along the way is you get like flat tires. When you get a flat tire, you're stuck and you can't make anything. This would be like a major bug. Okay. So the flat tire is there. Um, Let's say you have a holiday vacation and you have to leave this in there for so many turns. And until you get 
the end of that. Let's say we just had the Christmas holiday. So this would represent the mid, the end of your holiday or people taking vacation because they didn't use. So you could do all kinds of everyone didn't use their vacation time during the year. So they all took vacation time at the same time. Therefore, we don't produce anything. So you get this. So a flat tire is a vacation and you can't produce something. Now, the way this would work on an Excel program or mirror mirror, you make all these cards, you make a deck. So I'm going to make a big deck of cards, put different titles on it, make it more scrum like, more like what it's like in the in the DevOps world. And um you just flip the top card, we'll cover it, and you send it down one card, and then it'll expose the next card. So you can make a bunch of stickies, you can make a bunch of squares, rectangles, you can do it in an Excel spreadsheet. I don't know if you can do it in the Google Docs, but you might be able to. Very simple. You click on it, sends it down one, the next card comes up, you know what the points are, and you know how many points in you can either play it, but you might get a, a you know a speed limit card. You might get an out of gas card, you know. Um, this may be the CEO comes down and stops it and changes what you are going to do in the sprint or the product owner cancels the sprint because the CEO wants something done. So you put a stop card in there and that lasts a couple rounds until someone gets a, a go card or maybe they get the emergency vehicle where the CEO comes down and said, well, we're good. Get going. Um, that's enough information. We can move on. So this is what this this fire truck card would be. I love this game. It's a fun game. So even if you bought it for yourself, you can do it virtually where you get everyone on your team. They cost like five. I don't think they're more than $10 at Walmart or something like that for a deck. And then if people have it, they can play it with their friends or family. It's a great party game. I'll be honest with you. If you got a couple friends come over, you know, we talk about being home with friends and family. So if everyone bought a deck and they, they have to do it on the honor system, they can flash up what they see and who they want to give it to. And then they can be stopped and you can you come up with some different ways of doing it. But it's a great little party game. I'm going to create this as a free um, giveaway as part of joining the mailing list. So if you join a mailing list this weekend, I will have developed this in a couple different versions um, an Excel spreadsheet version, and I will do a virtual online, like either Miro or Mira um, version. If you tell me which one you want, I'll pick that one first. If I get enough people, I should put up, maybe I'll put a survey up on LinkedIn. Should I do Mira, Miro, which one would you want me to do it in? And um, I'll put that up as voting. Okay, so that's it. It's a great way. It'll teach people. Like what I say, the speed limit, like 50, 50 miles an hour. Maybe that's a bug. So a bug's in the way. You can't do any 200-point stories or lay them down. So you can only do 50 points or less because there's a 25-point card. So there's a 50-point card and a 25-point card. So when you get the speed limit sign, you can only do small things until the big thing gets out of the way. Or maybe you pick a story into your sprint, but it was really a huge story and you didn't realize how big because no one really – kind of analyze it on sprint planning day. So there's a penalty. So you can only go so far. Um, when you dove into the story, it took more time, you know, things like that. Maybe everyone can put into it as a team instead of individually. So if someone gets a speed limit 50, 50 for everybody, maybe you'd make it uh, a 50 mile an hour speed limit for everybody on the team. Now everyone on the team, if anybody gets to get out of free because they work as a group, they could swarm on it and put the end the speed limit sign on that so the whole group can go past that bug. I think that's a neat little trick. I'll put I'll make sure I put that in the game too. You know, you think about this when you talk it through. So anyway, so that's it. So it's called Miles Born. I'm gonna make a version of this in in IT scrum language and and things like that. And like I said, if you join the newsletter which is a link on my website and, and uh, for 5 a.m. Master Scrum, I will include that in this weekend for as part of your free stuff. I will get that figured out and figure out how I'm going to manage that. So that's that. With that, we go Fortune Cookie Friday. Yay! So the Agile Accountants, this is a special fortune cookie. It's chocolate covered. Sorry, Bubbles. You cannot eat chocolate. She's probably going to smell it, though. She's got a sweet tooth. 
big chunk of chocolate in there. All right. So we're going to see what this fortune cookie has. The reason why I have it is because that's the one that was closest to me when I set up today. I was like, ooh. All right. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to, like, make chocolate everywhere on the planet. So got the fortune. This comes from the Agile accountants who tell us how to run Scrum and Agile. And sometimes they, well, humbug on the fun. Let's see what the Agile accountants have to say today. Okay. Worry is a misuse of your imagination. That's really good. Worry is a misuse of your imagination. So if you're worrying about, because worry is this a fiction thing in your brain. Oh, what if this fails? What if it does? You never know until you do it, right? You never know until you try. So I can worry about how I'm going to create this. I did worry a little bit about it. Like, can I do this? And it turns out I can. I did look online to see if there's some stuff on for the Miles Boring game. And to be honest with you, they're not that great. So I figured a real simple way of doing it with either a spreadsheet or, like I said, Mira or Mira, um, depending which one I use. I'm going to do a survey. You all tell me which version you wanted on it. Meantime, I'll do it in the spreadsheet, and then I'll figure out the both. Um, but worrying is a misuse of your magic. Don't worry about having fun. Just do it, right? Don't worry about doing a sprint review. We talked about that earlier this week. Just do it. Don't worry about what they'll, they'll trash me. They'll make me look bad. You know what? You do it enough times, it'll look much better. So, you know, worry is a misuse of your imagination. I did an interview the other day with the local Philadelphia Tech Entrepreneurs Group. It's on their it's on their um, YouTube. And uh, I, I did this looking around, thinking about when I was trying to give it an answer. You know, if I really worried about it, I wouldn't have done it. But I'm glad I did it because then I can see how I was looking, how I looked on the screen. It wasn't very eye to eye contact. It was, it was, it was kind of, you could see me thinking about the answer and I got to work on that. So worry is a misuse of your imagination. I love this fortune cookie. It's so telling. All right. With that, I say, have a great day. I got to go teach the kiddos how to do technology. And today is rocketry where we're going to do what we did on that one fun day. We're going to build lego space capsules and parachutes i got all the equipment so this is going to be an adventure i have no idea how it's going to go but we're going to try it out so i'm not going to worry about it with that wish you all the best have a great day happy scrumming and we will see you on monday and sign up for that mailing list so you can get the free um game of this one it could be fun it could teach people how a typical sprint would work I think I got an idea. It's in my brain. I have an imagination for it, and I think it'll be fun. All right. Take care, everyone. Happy scrumming. See you.